क्वालिफिकेशन मेक यू टू फिट द गेट द मस जय हो दिस इज द ब्यूटी मोर वी बिकम अनक्वालिफाइड यूजलेस फॉर द मेटेरियल थिंग no qualification qualification of material even in the spiritual i am not qualified adilila for canto only foolish child can understand brajendra what means the two qualification is important one is foolish and one is childness Two things is important to understand Brajendra. Two things. If you have this qualification, you will understand Brajendra. If you are very qualified, then you will not understand because it will be blocking to make relation with him. Right? Right or not? So foolish child only can understand Brajendra. we have to become child and we have to become foolish easy to understand him <laughs> easy to relate him. today prabhupad is giving the class and telling like this na huh? wo oh, this in sri chaitanya charitamrita antalila 468 dinere adhika daya karena bhagavan dinere adhika daya karena bhagavan means if you are dita humble lowest then mercy will come more to you if you are very proud mercy cannot come because the water flow down na If you are living there, its pumping will difficult, na. If I have some pride, a proud, or I am a sannyasi, or this and that, then it will be difficult to <coughs> pump it. So, dine the akare bhagwan. We have to become dine. We have to be useless person. Then Radha Rani accept her. She makes the mercy useful in our world, in our life. Dinere adhika daya karena bhagava. The supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna, is always favorable to the humble and meek. If we wish to see the Lord's enchanting form, we too have to have a form. You see, that I want to say. Like this light and this light, they cannot see each other because this is light also and this light also. But we can see each other because. You have form, I have form. If I have no form, only Krishna has form. Then how I will see Krishna even? Because I am the only light, or it's part. Both has to be in the form. Read again this line. If we want, if we wish to see the Lord's enchanting form, we too have to have a form. If we want to see the Lord's attractive rupa, we will have to don. We will have to accept the form of a rupa nuga, yeah. a follower of Sri Rupa. Yeah. Jai Prabhupada ki jai. This is the thing. This is Gauravan. This is Gauravan. Is not in here any more light? Then the Lord will be pleased. 
Shyam sees the beauty of Shama. Radhika. Shyam will be pleased, he will see the beauty of Shama. Why? Because this is Shama, it is Sham Shama. <coughs> and when Shama will pleased, he will see Sham. This is the way. Sham will please, you will see Shama, and Shama will please that you will see the Sham. Before not, before you are imagining. But when Sham will please, then Sama, you will try to go to Sham. Radha Dasya. And when you will take the Radha Dasya, automatically you will see nothing than Sham. Because Radha Dasya means only Sham. This is Rupanuga line. Because I am living in Vrindavan, I know the, know the name Marga very well. I know Hithariwan's line also very well. I know all classic lines in Vrindavan. But what Prabhupada uh, bring to us, what Bhakti Siddhanta bring to us, what Narayan Maharaj Gurudev give to us, is Rupanuga. This Rupanuga is Rupanuga is the mercy of Gauranga. This he account is never happening all Sampradaya what is happening there to realize your form to see his form to be connected in relation with him. I want to show one thing more of Prabhupada. Prabhupada, I will give this. Please, ten minutes more. I want to see, show you what is Gauravani. What Gauranga Mahaprabhuvani is. What the Mahajan teaches, you read so many times Bhagavad Gita, but one thing I want to show. In one way, Prabhupada writes Sambandha, Avideha and Pariyoda. Three things in one page, page four. Swami Swami Prabhupada. Swami Prabhupada. His Bhagavad Gita, you see. Page 4, he writes three things, Sambandha, Avideha and Pariyujan. The Bhagavad Gita starts with this. I have no vision to see before. When I got the mercy of Gurudev sitting and listening to me, then one day I am re reading, I surprise, what? Wow, everything is there. I show you. What I feel I share with you. He wanted Arjun to become the authority in understanding the Bhagavad Gita. So, we see that Bhagavad Gita is instructed to Arjun especially because Arjun was a devotee of the Lord, a direct student of Krishna and his intimate friend. Intimate friend. <laughs> I am devotee. I am a student of my Gurudev. But I am not intimate friend of Krishna. This is missing point. So he is not close to me. Sambandhagya. This is Sambandhagya. Sambandha. Twenty-one time Prabhupada repeat intimacy, friendship. 
you don't need one time in one page. Right? You will see. Go. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita is best understood by a person who has qualities similar to Arjuna's. That is to say, he must be a devotee in a direct relationship with the Lord. As soon as we... Direct relation. Again relation. As soon as one becomes a devotee of the Lord, he also has a direct relationship with the Lord. Direct relationship with the Lord. If he become devotee without relation, he is a passive mood. He is shopping. And direct relation means he is my friend, I am his mother, or I am his lover. Then we have to find conjugal love. Means what? Without Radha Dasya or without Radha Dasya? Rupa Nuga or Raga Nuga. Then we have to decide. But we have to go for that in relations. We want Raga Nuga relation or Rupa Nuga relation. This is the mercy of Chaitanya and giving through his all six Goswamis and all the Mahajans, our Guru, Mahajans, Bhakti Siddhanta, Prabhupada, and all give to me, but we have to do it. Uh, our Gurudev always he say Radha Dasyam Rupa Nuga. Hidden Path of Devotion is the one of the best book when I feel I cannot say. <laughs> Other book, if you want to take my books, you have to buy. But hidden path of devotion, you can take like this. Because I like to share that. Because it's a hidden path. <laughs> if you want to know hidden path, you have to read that. If you want general path, no problem. But he didn't but only without that not working. That is a very elaborate subject matter. But elaborate relation is very, very high matter. It's all place where you see the scriptures, any Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad, Chaitanya Chaitamrit. This is the every place you will find this Sambandha. But briefly, it can be stated that a devotee is in a relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead in one of five different ways. One, one may be a devotee in a passive state. Two, in an active state. Three, as a friend. Four, as a parent. Five, as a conjugal lover. Arjun was in a relationship with the Lord as a friend. Of course, there is a gulf of difference between this friendship and the friendship found in the material world. This is transcendental friendship which cannot be had by everyone. Of course, everyone has a particular relationship with the Lord, and that relationship is evoked by the perfection of devotional service. But in the present status of our life, not only have we forgotten the Supreme Lord, but we have forgotten our eternal relationship with the Lord. Every living being, out of the many, many billions and trillions of living beings, has a particular relationship with the Lord eternally. That is called Svaru. By the process of devotional service, 
one can revive that Svarup. And that stage is called Svarup City. Perfection of one's constitutional position. So, Arjun was a devotee. Yes. And he was in touch with the Supreme Lord. What? Sarup and Sarup City. This is the goal, Pariyojana of the life. This is the goal and Pariyojana of the life. You see, even Bhakti Siddhanta, Prabhupada also write, Prabhupada also write. Sarup, he also write about the form and your constitutional form. Here also you have to fix this oh, constitutional form and his form is today. Without relation with his today, without knowing my sarup, it will never move in Sambandhagya. It we have to go in Rupanga. Guru Dev is teaching about we have to follow hidden path of devotion is a hidden way is lightning that is the way to go. You see this one. <laughs> and this three books, three things I want to share with you. And one thing more because I have only 10 minutes time. So, I will share you one thing more. Gaur na hoito, keman hoito, keman dharitam de. Again, you see, Gaur na hoito, if Gauranga is not coming in my life, keman hoito, what I am going to do? Keman dharitam de. How I am taking my body? What body? That is spiritual body. My spiritual identification, constitutional form. Keman dharitam de. Radha rasa mahima. And without that constitutional form of my spiritual body, how I can go? in the service of Radhika. Radha Rasa Mahima. Premi Rasa Sima. The how a highest limit of the Prema. Madhana Kabhav. How I am going to know? If I have desire to know, I will know this and to go for that. Premi Rasa Sima. Jagati Janatoke. Who is going to open these facts of divine love in our life? This is the thing, this is the way to realize that Radha Rasa how great Rasa is that, is nothing more than that. And by the mercy of Radhika, Shyam is showing to Shama and Shama is sorry to Shama. This is the way to understand through the Shama to Shama is the only way. Because this is Radha's Krishna and Radha can show and bring very clear and connection, relation. So, Gurudev always said, we have to become Radha Dasi. Radha Dasi is the goal to develop our, everything in our life. <coughs> she is the great, merciful, motherly love she has. Friendly, but motherly also. He Dasi means she take care very much to open our heart to, to very close 
like a shadow. She wants to make us to always in the service of Priya and Pritam in Juga, in the Brajapur. Thank you, Mahaprabhu. Appearance is only this, that he appears in the form of Gauranga. <coughs> Gauranga and Gaurangi is nothing different. Gaurangi become today Gauranga. Radhika become in the male form to help in this Kaliuga time. But Krishna is also there to test that marrow of Radhika. But you see, Pancha Tattva is very important. We have to keep this picture in our home. Why? Because you see, Radhika is there in the center in Chaitanya. Krishna is sure inside Radhika. You see, Gayadha is Radha Sakti. What is Radha Sakti? Prem is Radha Sakti. Love is Radha Shakti. So you see, even the, the plant, animals, birds, everybody knows about the love. This is Radha Shakti. Everyone knows love. This is Shakti. And you see, they die. One Balaram, brother of Krishna, and one Anand Manjari, Radhika sister, talking about Krishna and bringing to Radhika's dasi. This is the work of Nitai. Because brother and Anand Manjari, Anand Manjari talking Krishna, bringing to Radhika's service. Because Gurudev is also Radhika dasi. First he is ploying that I am brother of Krishna, I am very close to you, ploying, giving seed, fertilizing, watering, everything you do and when you, some plant grow up without the peat, no grass is there, he took out grass also and then we is becoming growing up, then he bring to Radha Das that now you are qualified to understand that. Hmm. So, this is Mahavishnu, Shiva and Vishnu together, and Narada is a Guru Tattva. All are praying to Radha Tattva. This tree is Radha Tattva. He said, before I pray to Lord, but now, today, I am praying to your Shakti, Swami. Your, without your Shakti, nothing can move. Krishna is also in your control. And Mahaprabhu is showing by all his pastime and all his Leela, he opened this fact before it was not open. Before, Krishna is alone every place. Mahaprabhu come, then Radha Rani, importance come and very clear to everyone. Oh, Rasas, all Nimmarga and Hithari ones, all then it start flowing. You see, Hithari ones is also, but he is in Sakya power. Mahaprabhu bring Parkiya. Why Parkiya? Because in the Goloka, they are Sakya, they are married couple. But Krishna never tests in Parkiya because he's a new, every moment is a new, fresh, and he wants to give chance to share the gopis. Friends, Manjaris, Sakhis, and Kinkaris. So, 
परकिया भाव कैन डू दिस इन सकिया भाव दे आर सफिशियंट टू मीट नो नीड्स बट इन परकिया भाव दे कैन नॉट मीट विदाउट हेल्प ऑफ मंजरी एंड किंग सो दे आर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दे आर मोर हेल्पफुल इन द मीटिंग ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्णा इन बदनाव so brother ras is this that how to to take center of radhika and how to become rupa i feel this is the special mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu in our life it was before krishna importance but mahaprabhu makes the importance of radhika gor pranandi you see one thing also i want to share you rai ramanand and mahaprabhu meeting rolling in the and crying for each other what is this this is the meeting of radhika and vishaka they both realize that they, they are meeting with their friends radhamanan think my swami radhika comes to ray to see me and mahaprabhu is thinking oh I, after long time i will sit with my vishaka and we will share something about the past time of krishna she will say some story to me and i will be happy with that so all this past time what is happening there is all mahaprabhu open this facts based of swami das how to follow mahaprabhu to take the center of radhika जय श्री राम